right back. Right there, if anyone is here already. Oh, it's cold today. Is it cold where y'all are out? Two people. Miss Suzanne, yip yip oh, hi, darlings. Happy days. I bet it's cold where you are for sure. How's everybody doing? <sighs> Cold there too. Yeah. And it's windy. There I am. Yeah, I'm not late. I'm on time. Hi, Alice. Um, yeah, I'm not normally here on Monday, am I? But I'm just doing um, some jewelry clearance today. Um, I'm invoicing after this, and then I will be shipping last week's packages, which I was on a little vacation, a little sick vacation, and a little, a little, yeah, anyway, um, let's see, then I will be back on Wednesday, <gasps> Jane's here, yay! You know, I always make my day when you do that to me. I was going to um, send you a link or a message that I was reminder I was coming on, but I didn't remember what you had going on today. So, do you get to actually be here? Yay. Hi, Mr. T. Hi, Daddy. I look cute. You always say that. Thanksgiving yesterday was great. We had everything tasted so yummy. Um, only thing was Jake and Allison didn't go because there's a stomach bug going around. So I took them a plate. I went in. I just, I've already had it. So I wasn't worried about getting it again. So I went in. Jake was just like this on his game. Allison was coming out of the bathroom and she had like, um, disinfectant spray, Lysol spray and the doorknobs and everything because she does not need to get it. She is, how many weeks? Basically, she's got three months to go. So, stomach bug, she does not need. You know what I mean? But, hi, Miss Sue. I uh, hope y'all were doing good. Hope y'all had a, a good weekend. Um, let's see, when I come back Wednesday, I should have new clothing for y'all that sounds coming through right there i should have new clothing um and i'm thinking i'll probably do one jewelry sale this coming week but today like i said i'm gonna go through some nicer things and um i'm doing clearance like i just becky emailed me uh she had watched the replay and she wanted the smoky quartz sterling silver ring i think i sold that for 25 so I'm doing that because I have a lot of jewelry. I'm trying to phase out of it a little bit. And, of course, to boost my sales because I've been doing clothing mainly. So, anyway, I hope y'all can find something, take advantage of a good deal. I would be tickled. I do have a couple of jewelry making supply lots done up here at a real good price if anybody's interested in that. But I'm just going to go through some things I have here. And hi, Becky. You saw Kitty? <laughs> oh, yeah, there they are. I've been looking. Well, I ain't been looking for them, but I hadn't seen them in like an hour and a half, two hours. They probably took a nap upstairs. They followed me up there to get the computer. I'm telling you, there's something else. I'm going to have a hard time putting them outside, I think, because I'm falling in love with them a little more every day. Um, just watching kittens play is so, like, stress relief. It's, um, 
they're so funny. They make me laugh and giggle and smile. And I need that. That's good medicine. <laughs> right? So watching kittens play. I know, Jane. And actually, I thought, look at all that gray, y'all. Um, I thought that I only had till about January to get them fixed because they're brother and sister. Y'all, I took these kittens in. Um, their mother had gotten killed, tragically. They barely had their eyes open. I've never been a cat mom, really. Um, don't really know how to do it, but bottle fed them. Even had to wipe their little butts to get them to pee and poop. That's how little they were. So, I, I guess kittens are usually great and fun and lovable, but these are even more so because they were bottle fed. So they like to be touched. They like to be, they don't have that like catitude. <laughs> you know what I mean about that? Catitude. I just came up with that. I think it's very fitting. They don't have like that catitude that I'm used to, but so yeah, I'm going to have a hard time too, Jane. But anyway, my brother-in-law told me that not to get them fixed too early. If you do, it'll make them a little mental and uh or crazy you know not great so he actually was saying like eight months that each of them need to go through a cycle i don't know anyway i need to get started but i was just it's just i've had that on my mind trying to figure out what to do so far morgan's allergies have been okay they don't go in her room if she picks them up she has to change her she'll just proactively change her shirt wash her hands because she's fairly allergic to them but uh so far so good and she said she was going to get this like quite pricey shampoo and wash them in it that's supposed to cut their dander down so i don't know y'all but i love them that's for sure look at this gray it's about i've just been letting it grow a little bit i might let it grow a couple more months who have i got to impress right now you know <laughs> Besides myself, and I'm comfy with my hair being gray. So, hi, Harry. How are you? Welcome. Okay, I think I've got the lighting set right. Thank you, Jane. Love you, darling. And uh, look at this little dish. I, I realized today, uh, people have asked me, what do I collect? And I'll just say dust, basically. Um... I'm eclectic in the things that I like. Nothing really matches. I have no theme in my house. Um, but I do have realized, I just realized this today. I am drawn to trinket dishes. Look at this one. It's old. Um, I wonder if this glows, actually. No, it's not uranium glass. But, um, yeah, I love trinket dishes. I love old jewelry boxes. Um actually y'all aren't gonna be able to see this because of light this does fluoresce does anybody know could that be uranium glass i mean it's so thick let's see if y'all can see it fluoresce it's not like crazy bright but i don't know anyway i love this i it was in the bathroom and it had um some earrings and makeup and stuff in it and i just cleaned it out and put it in here i'm not gonna sell it i just wanted to look at it but all right let's see here so i'm gonna go ahead and get started with showing some of these jewelry things that i'm trying to uh discount and clearance at a good deal um it, it will be available at the start price on the replay for 24 hours so if you see something you like you're listening watching watching later just be registered with me reach out email me timestamp price description and i'll be glad to get it for you okay i'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera around yeah i think they were upstairs chilling and now they've come down here they like this room i've been listening to the judge y'all try and turn my camera around what? Why is it doing this? I don't know. Hi, Mark. See the blue? What do you mean? See the blue? I'm trying to turn my camera around. Hold on a second. But it's just like stuck on me like this right here. And I can't show jewelry like this. What the? Can't. 
damn, hold on, something's up. They've changed something in here. So I'm trying to turn my camera around and it's not doing it. What the crap? I'm confused. Oh, wait, here we go. Okay, I got it, y'all. No, not back dual camera, just back camera. Okay, let me get this situated. Hopefully the lighting was good. I had to use some scarves and cover up my window there. I like bare windows without shades. These don't even really have curtains. And they're new windows, so they're nice. Nice and clean. And, um, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's see here. Good job. Good view. All right. We'll see how the um, lighting is going to be. Again, Jane, I'm so appreciative that you're here, darling. I'm so thankful for all of y'all coming by. Uh, let's see here. All right, I'll start off with a sterling silver ring. Like I said, I'm going to do some great prices on these things because I'm not attached to them. Um, this is a size 7. It's older. You could shine it up. It's thick. Got some weight to it. How's the lighting? Size 7, sterling silver, older ring. But like I said, there's a lot of silver here. So let me just start this at, uh, let's start it at 20. I mean, gosh, you can't beat that. 20 bucks. Can you see all your silver you have here? It's thick. It's got a little weight to it. Just like this right here. Size seven and only a $20 start if you're interested. Nice, thick, bigger ring. And that'll be my first item. I feel like there's this little line of light right there, is there? Could y'all give me the thumbs up? Help my channel to grow. All right, we're going to pass on that. I might mix in some costume here. Let me show this necklace that didn't sell the other day. Um, this is one that... Oh, I need to plug this. Um, Hopefully that's going to charge. Um, this is one that didn't sell. Um, so pretty. I think I asked only $28 for it. I'll drop it to $26, y'all. But my goodness. You got to earn a living a little bit somewhere here. So even though I'm doing the clearance prices, I still need to make a tiny profit on them. Um, so yeah, I'm do 26 start. Feel free to bid. That's why I'm starting things out super low. In case anybody likes something. I still have that beautiful moonstone ring. I'm just looking for my uh, my measuring tape. It's right here somewhere. So how are y'all doing? Is everybody doing good? Uh, yeah. I texted a couple of friends today that I was feeling a little needy. <laughs> I, I don't have a problem admitting that or being honest about that when I feel a little needy. I could use some hugs and petting. Like, I was telling somebody, like, if if my grandmother were still living right now, it'd be one of those days where I'd go and sit, and she always loved for me to bring her chocolate, good chocolates. I'd sit and eat chocolate with her, hold her hand, and let her pet me and talk. It'd be one of those days. <sighs> Y'all ever get like that? Okay, y'all. My tape is right here somewhere. There it is. Did y'all get it? So this necklace, and it's um, uh, it's one of those. It's like bars. This is 16 inches, and you see each little bar. Look how this is connected. Really cool. You might have seen one like that before, but sterling silver, 16 inch absolute gorgeous little layer necklace if you want to wear two or three and i love it's kind of dainty these balls are small it's um evenly colored i don't think you'd have to do a lot just put it on and wear it uh let's see what that says nine two five something i can't make it out yeah sterling silver 26 dollars start it's 16 inches that's a beauty that is a beauty it just lays perfect. I took some time to make. That's some nice work right there. 
Anybody like that one for a 26 start? And there is your clasp right there. It's a little, um, just a little, is that called a seat clasp or a lobster clasp? I don't remember. Okay, I'm ready to shed my jacket already. Yeah, so I did $2 off even more than I, um, the 28 clearance price if somebody wants that one. <clears throat> um, let's see. Seems like I had something something to tell y'all. I don't remember what it was. Let me take my sweater off. I'm already warming up here. I need to get this computer so I can say comments. Okay, no interest on that. Um, all right, I want to show this one again. I bought this from Gina Gay quite some time ago. I'm trying to remember what I paid for it. This is sterling silver, but it got a heavy duty rhodium plate to it. And I'm thinking this is a piece of amethyst. Um, super cool ring shit. There goes the internet. This is a beautiful piece of amethyst. Look at the cut. I don't know what the little red stones are right here, if you can see them. But if you want, if you go to test this, uh, good luck getting a silver result because it's rhodium plated and heavily. It is marked 925. And let me tell you a size on this one. Honey. Feel free. Feel free, darling. Hang out. Feel sorry for yourself. Whatever makes you feel better. I just am thankful for you to be here, darling. This is a size 9, and I do love it, but basically it's been decor for my jewelry box. Um, And I'll do a 48 start on this, y'all. This is heavy. It's a heavy ring. Very different. It's got uh, a gold plate to it. Also, thick, again, size 9, heavily rhodium plated. Look at that big chunk of amethyst. And it is. I just put it on the test, uh, the presidium. And it is. You see how big it is? Nice and gaudy. That's what I call gaudy, which some people don't like, but I do. Because I have big hands. I'm a big girl. Um, so, 48 start. That's probably right about what I paid for it. There's three little red stones. Let me see if I can test those. It's really pretty. Very different, which I like. Oh, wowie, y'all. The little red stones, which are faceted, they test at, ooh, are they ruby? Let me see if they'll glow. Yeah, you should. Um, <laughs> not telling you what to do. But I believe these are rubies. Check it out. Does test up at Ruby. And I do see a little glow. It's a great ring, y'all. Honestly. Let me give you a little close-up on it, too. Right there. Like I said, all of it semi-precious. Amethyst, size 9. Rhodium-plated. Told you where I got it from. Bought it for myself. Just offering it. It's beautiful. It is a cool ring. 48 is a good price on that. I got it at a good price though. Something like that. So maybe somebody watching the replay might like it. And it is just as big as it looks. The surface area of it's a lot. Let me show you that and I'll move on. So what are we looking at? At least an inch and a half by three quarters an inch and it's got a lot of weight to it so let me uh, get a box to put everything i showed today in case somebody does want to go back and order something for today from today uh, let's see here i'll put it in this right here okay wow right here at christmas time goodness honey All right, let's see what we have here. Ooh, this looks like Sarah Coventry. Let's look at it and see if y'all would agree. Here's the back. 
We'll see if we can't figure it out. Um, oh, we love. I believe this is Sarah Coventry. It's gold tone. It's older, fold over clasp. Let me see the measure on it. Seven inches. Seven inches. It is marked. Oh, this is a one slash 20, 12 carats. Huh. It doesn't say GF like Goldfield, but it is, right? I mean, or is it more than that? Somebody that knows? One slash 20. Let me just show y'all. So is this Goldfield? But normally it has a GF. So yeah, it is. 120. It's 12 karat gold field. That's what I'm thinking. There's the back. It's in good condition. Sarah Coventry. I'm going to ask 25 on this one. Um, her stuff's fairly collectible, and it is a gold field. So 7 inch, $25. It's absolutely gorgeous. If anybody likes that. Oh, I have better fingers today. So it's, oh, I'm sorry. It's not Sarah Coventry. I don't know what I'm thinking. It just looks so much like her. It's not Sarah Coventry, y'all. It's just a gold field. And I'm only asking 25 on this. Jane, don't worry about changing that. That's my fault. Not Sarah Coventry, but it could pass as hers, couldn't it? Just a vintage gold field. I'm not sure what this is, but I've seen stuff like that. Maybe y'all might know what it is. I don't know. Yeah. Any interest on this at 25 start? Seven inches? It's in great condition. Okay, we're going to pass on it. Love is just a word. Sterling silver, green glass. Real pretty. Light green. Um, I'm going to start this one. This is a size six and a half. It's dainty. Have no idea what the clear stones are. Let's start this at $18. I know you cannot beat that. Sterling silver, green glass at that price. It doesn't look like glass. Looks like it might be something different, but I think it didn't move out of glass when I tested it at some point. Oh, the under gallery is really nice. See there? It's a nice little ring. $18 start. If anybody's interested. Make a pretty little teenage ring, I think. Teenager's ring. Only 18. Sterling silver. Pass on it. All right. This one, y'all. I think this is blue topaz. Now, this is old. It needs a clean. Um, it's pretty evenly patinaed, though. Um, let's see. Yeah. All the way up there to blue topaz on this one. So, this is a um, beautiful old ring. Let me get you a size. It's a smaller one coming in at, I'm going to call it five and three fourths. It's right, right before a six, five and three fourths, blue topaz. Looks like we have some marcasites. That is beautiful. I'm going to do 30 start on this one, y'all. 30 start on this old. Look at the, I don't know who that maker is. $30 start. TH, there's a symbol. Um, blue topaz and marcasite. That's a pretty old ring. If anybody likes it. You can shine that up. Make it bright and shiny if you'd like. Um, currently, it's just in its in a vintage condition, but still looks really great. It's evenly patinaed and everything. It's a pretty uh, good little size topaz, too. Really nice. It's just a small ring. $30 start. Five and three quarters. Is that what it was? Wow, that is small. Yeah, but you're right, Jane. 
Of course you are. All right, we're going to pass on this one. Okay, this one is Vintage Sterling Silver Diamond. And let me put this little presidium on here and just try to remind myself. Oh, yeah. Full on. They're so tiny. I don't know how many of them are there. Let me give you a size. It looked like it was maybe a engagement ring or something. This is a size eight and a half. Beautiful. Eight and a half. And let's do a 40 star on this one, y'all. There's several of them. Beautiful vintage sterling silver diamond. $40 start under galleries. Beautiful too on this one. It's older. It could use a clean. I don't know what it's marked. Um, but nice larger size on that one. Eight and a half. That is really pretty. Dainty band. It's comfy ring. Eight and a half. Sterling silver diamond. $40 start. If any interest. Diamond is April's birthstone, y'all. Okay, cool. What y'all's is birthstone? Mine's emerald. Mine is emerald. Um, let's see here. These are super cool. These are both sterling silver and glass. We can do choice here. These look like a beautiful vintage ring. Um, but they look shiny and brand new. Not silver plated, but sterling silver. Uh, and we will do choice on these. Let's start at $36. Cannot beat it. $36. Here's what you've got. Let me get you the sizes. I love this one. Um, the two baguettes on the side, I guess you could say. Um, this one right here at, like, at the bottom of the screen. But these are two very beautiful rings. At a great start price. Um, Y'all give me a second. I want to say make sure I'm, I'm charging here. Yeah, I'm charging. Okay. Okay, so sizes on these. This is a choice. Start at that price. We have a size 7 here. And like I said, glass. Isn't that gorgeous? Size 7 for number 1, if you're interested. And number 2 choice is a size 7 also. And that's this one right here. It's got the larger light. Um, focal here and the little baguettes on the side. Um, don't y'all think that's a great price for choice? They're both size seven. They're gorgeous rings. I love both of them. Beautiful. Okay, pass. Um, let's see here. <clears throat> I don't know if this is vintage Harley ring. I think it is not silver. So I will do a 16 start on this. 16 start, size seven. Um, not sterling silver. I think this is old Harley ring. Anybody feel free to dispute me. Um, but that is, I don't know, a good a little over an inch there. And it's like this right here. Only 16 start. Cool ring. It's older. I think it might be like a 70s or something of that nature. Don't know what the inlay is. Split shank. Color's great on it. 
it, yeah, it's not sterling silver. Not sterling silver, y'all. And it could use a clean. That's a great price, though. 16 bucks on that. Especially if you have um, Harley collect collectors. Harley items. Any interest? 16 Yeah, good over an inch on that one. All right, let me show this blue glass sterling silver ring. And let's do a $18 start on that. Can't get any cheaper than that, y'all. It's a size 7. This is glass. Real pretty. Um, it could be shined up. Blue faceted glass. Um, cool setting. Does sit up off, off the finger quite a bit. Um, you could shine it up. It's not open in the back. 18 start on that. Just blue glass. Sterling silver. It does catch the light though. It's cut really pretty. If you like blue. Sorry, Jane, if I'm moving too fast, Starlin. Okay. Um, this set, this is just a vintage set. I love that it's kind of got this little bit of a yellowed foam here in this box. It's, um, it looks like real pretty glass faceted that the necklace is made out of. I'm not sure how long the necklace is. In brand new condition, there's a brooch and then the necklace with the pin net. And I'll do $15 if you like. $15. We can do buy it now on this one. $15 buy it now. And those are probably two and a half. To three inch clowns and then it does have a pretty red I think that looks like glass necklace if anybody likes that one the light dances on it oh yeah the, the um, uh -huh. these are I'm not sure if we call these thermoset but these are some pretty old clip-ons hi Connie I've missed you honey Thank you so much for coming to visit. You want the green glass six and a half for 18. You got it, darling. Thanks so much for coming. I've missed you. This one right here. There you go. Is there enough light, y'all? I really need to go up here and grab some bags from upstairs. Would y'all let me do that real quick? Because all I have is these are large. Honey, no apologies. I understand that. I'm just glad to see you. Um, let me go ahead and show these thermoset earrings. I think they're thermoset. Um, pretty pink. Perfect condition. Probably an inch in diameter all the way around. Clip-ons, tension's great. And let's just do $7 on these vintage earrings. Those are beautiful. They're a very light pastel pink. Gold tone, perfect condition. Uh, don't see any markings on them. Beautiful. If anybody likes those for seven bucks. And if anybody wants to see them in the ear, I can show you that too. Seven dollars if you like them. Okay, I'm going to grab the uh, little bag, y'all. Be right back. BRB. Bye. 
Love is alive at the breakfast table every day of the week. Love is alive and it's made a happy woman out of me. Oh, love is alive and it's here by me. Okay, got the little bag, Joe. That's much better. Okay. Did anybody want the hi my pal how are you darling did anybody want the jewelry making supply bundles that i have um oh really jane oh i love the judds too um five dollars five dollars on this pretty new on the card high heel shoe red very nice if you like it five bucks um yeah keep in mind let me just show real quick um, 60 bucks, y'all. $60 start. Uh, two and a half to three pounds. Natural stone. Glass. There's some real pearls in here. Um, it's mainly Fire Mountain Gems, which is a great quality. And it's not just a little bit. Like, here's a little bag of uh, your per real pearls. I don't know exactly what kind they are. They're kind of flat on the bottom. Um, but yeah, glass. Like I said, probably natural stone. I have this bundle, $60 star. And then it has some pieces for jewelry making too. Um, you'll be pleased. I can say that much. There's a big glass pin nut. Everything has holes drilled. So I have that bag right there. And I have another bag, but if no interest, I'm not going to show up. I also have the Moon Glow um, beads. And I asked 40 for these because you won't believe how much just a few of them sell for. So all of these do fluoresce. They have holes drilled. You've got orange. Um, the, the yellow really light up. They're like highlighter fluorescent. Um, let's see, red, orange, yellow, green. And a good amount of each one it's they glow like crazy but they're not because of the light on them um and let's see here on these i'll do 30 bucks start that's i think excellent because i for what i've seen these beads go for and there's quite a few of each one like i said they're not tiny there's different shapes and um moonlight oh my gosh you can't beat that so 30 dollars start on these and then there's the yellow and the green Really pretty. If you like to make jewelry on like these. I think this is what this is. Nice and long. Uh, looks like an authentic older one to me. It uh, This, I believe, is leather. Soft and buttery leather. You can see it's hands on. And we'll start this one at $16. That's beautiful. $16. And this is a, a good larger size. It's not tiny. So your pin nut is like four inches. Let me move this silver necklace. Anybody like that one? It's different. Nice. And the chain, gosh, it's well over 20 inches, might be 22. Okay, Connie likes that one. Excellent. Thank you, darling. It's real pretty. It lays nice and flat. It's just the way I had it. Okay, I don't see any other interest. So, uh, let's go ahead and call this one sold to Connie. At 16. Thank you, darling. I don't know if you came in when I said it, Connie, but today is a sale in combination with, I think it was Saturday. I only worked two days last week. I was sick and it was Thanksgiving. And um, I'm invoicing today for this stuff. Um, yeah, I'm finishing up that last week and then I have lots of shipments to put out. Thank you, darling. Appreciate that so much. Look at this pretty little purple bag. That is not fabric. It feels like a faux leather. I love that. 
All right, let's see here. All right, this is beautiful. I can't tell you. I wish I could tell you more about it. I don't know how to describe it. I'll do my best. You can kind of see. It's like an omega chain, right? Or like, um, is it like omega, like herringbone kind of? But there is etch in it. You have a bronzy. Sorry about that. The internet again. Morgan's home. I got this from a lady that really uh, sold, collected, had some really nice stuff. And this one is, um, you know, falls in that category. So we've got bronze. It's Italy. And it's like D-Y-A-D-E-M-A. -E if you look that up, these things have some value. Um, and I will do a... Let's see, excellent price of 28 start on this. And I will um, see how beautiful it's in excellent condition. So this side looks silver, like, um, and the other side is bronze. And I can get you a length on it if anybody likes. But yeah, these are um, pricey. And this is so beautiful. Look at that. Wow, that's beautiful. Very well made, nice. Probably, I don't know how old this is, but excellent condition. I think it's a good price. And it is 16 inches. Beautiful. And the width or the diameter of it is... Almost a quarter inch. I'm not good at counting the ticks. What are they? One eighth? I don't know. But we'll pass on that if no interest. Let's see. Oh, let's pull out some of these necklaces up here. Are some pretty necklaces. Some of it's costume. Um, this. So pretty. I hope it's not missing a stone. I don't think it is. It's Avon NR. Is that Nina Ritchie? I can't remember. Look at that. It's like, you know, it looks Victorian kind of. And let's do a um, 15 start on this necklace. It's an excellent condition. Silver tone. And it hangs perfectly. I just need to get it that way. But it's Avon. $15. It's a lot of work to it. see it better y'all i apologize my internet that's something i need to do i keep saying that that's kind of how it lays you know actually i'll do 12 dollars on this sorry jane you don't have to fix that 12 bucks on the avon let's back it down to 10 10 dollars 10 dollars start on the avon yeah very pretty and it has extension, so at least 18 inches on it. Hope y'all can see it good. $10 start, anybody? Yeah, I like the Judds too, honey. I sure do. That's great country music right there. All right, I have, oh, this is so beautiful. I think y'all love this. If anybody would like, these is some really good pieces of Labradite. This is a silver plate. It's one of those. They're silver plated. It may be marked 925, but it's not. But it really looks like it could be. And this piece. Oh, we look at that blue flash. Um, down in the larger piece, we've got a lot of yellow. Um, let's see. See, this is marked. Am I wrong? It's got such a great stamp of 925, but seems like it was a silver plate very nice clasp to it length on this one is well your wearable is 20 inches but it's 22 inches because of that beautiful big pin nut and gosh just with this uh the great stone in this one this one easily could start at 30 i'm gonna start at 28 y'all 
Look at all that nice. And these are large pieces of stone. 28 star. Wow, this is my favorite one right here. Um, these, this Labradorite's not shy at all. Again, Mark 925. As far as I remember, it's silver plate. But um, you cannot beat this price. I hope somebody can take advantage of it. 20 inch wearable and 22 inch total length. That is gorgeous. Um, you could probably polish this. It's a little unevenly. You see here. I would just take a, the cleaner cloth and just give it a wipe. And I bet it will be just as good as new. But even the way it is, it's not bad at all. So, 28 start. There's my favorite piece of Labradorite because it's got all that blue flash in it. So, any interest on that? Please keep in mind, it. as far as I remember, it's not silver. It, though it has some convincing stamps. Yeah, I think so. Let me grab a piece of paper. Okay, no interest on that one. Hmm. Goodness me, y'all. Hmm, what should I do? Should I try to come on at a later time? You think, y'all? Or wait it out, or what? I don't know what to do. All right, let's do a couple of costume. I've got a lot of necklaces here. Oh, if I can get these two. I got a little tangled. Um, What do we have here? This is a Seasonal Whispers. I've never heard of that. Seasonal Whispers. Huh. Long, no, I'm not, y'all. It's a little tangled. I'm not going to do that. All right, now this is cool. This is very long. And this is the over-the-top look. You know what I mean? Like, it's supposed to be standout-ish. It's not supposed to look like real silver. This is costume. But some people like this groove and this style. I'm one of them. This is very super long. Okay, that's true, Miss Suzanne. Um, this is very super long with no class. Oh, I love. Talk about a great layer piece costume it's got weight to it um perfect condition this goes on and on forever so you can definitely double this this is a be a great one to put a large pendant on if you had if you had a huge bell of some sort again a no clasp and let's do uh 14 on this y'all i think it's worth it all day it's a nice uh piece Fourteen dollars. You've got weight, and uh, this is gonna go with anything. It's especially gonna look great with sweaters. Fourteen dollars. I I'm trying to describe it the best I can and let you know this just a um. It's not a cheap looking type of thing, but it is you know the costume. Um. But yeah, I love that. Fourteen dollars if you like it. You could even um tie this i would not this one like i would let me just show y'all let me play with it a minute we don't have a lot of people here <laughs> do y'all mind we're not in a rush i don't guess i mean i do need to get the shipping but hold on a second oh love is alive and tear by me so, you see, Becky, congrats on that. Oh, yeah, that ring. Um, this is one that I would knot up somewhere around here, have that long. Gosh, you could do anything with it, really. But I would definitely knot that one. Well, I've got it on with a Nirvana t-shirt. I really look that much, but yeah, very pretty. See what I mean? I actually think I'm going to keep this if nobody wants it. This is my style. I talked myself into it when I put it on, y'all. I actually really like this. And you can double it. I think it's a sexy necklace, honestly. 
That's a good one. I'm enjoying looking at that one, y'all. All right, I'm keeping that one. That's not available on replay. I'm going to keep it. <sighs> let's see. All right, let's see what else we have that I haven't shown recently. I loved this one. Um, maybe, would y'all be more entertained if I showed you this way? You might not can see it as well. I loved this one because it's like the diamond etched and it holds, I mean, it reflects the light. Can you see what I mean? 18 start on that sterling silver. And let me tell you the size is a size seven and a quarter, seven and a quarter. That's right. Because I've sold some things. That's right. Thank you. I've sold some things I definitely regretted. But there's that one. See, there's just a little dip there. And it makes it really catch the light. If anybody likes this one, I love it. Very pretty. Don't know if it's marked anything other than NF. NF. Good size. 18 start on it. It is an inch. An inch in diameter. Alrighty. These are another pair of vintage earrings. They're clip-on. I want to call these thermoset, but I'm not for sure. Oh, no, they're missing a little. Never mind. What does what mean, darling? What does what? Thermoset? I don't know, and I don't think they are. What? I don't, I'm not sure what you're asking. Oh, this one's really pretty. Oh, NF, it stands for the, the maker's initials, probably. Um, I'm trying to remember what if this one was garnet or glass, y'all. Hold on. All right, let me look. This one, chock full of marcasites. Um, very up at the top, very top of the glass reading where it would go into something else, but I'm not sure. I'm going to call it red glass. It is open in the back. Size, we'll do 20 start on this ring. Size is a size 7, and it is very pretty. If you like marcasites. Um... Looks like a good inch. Look at the marcasites just dance in the light. That deep, it's kind of like a deep garnet red color. I don't know if that's showing up. Yes, I sure will, honey. Um, show it to you. This one was a 20 start, darlings. And Jane put the size in there and everything. There's the back. Uh, real pretty ring. It's hard to get it to show very pretty, but it is. If you like red. Okay, yeah, the diamond vintage sterling. Connie darling. Um, it is right. I got it right here. I'll put them in a dish. This one. And this one was a larger ring. It is a size eight and a half there's several little uh um diamonds in there but uh and i did test them but i can't uh count them really <laughs> it looks like an old maybe engagement ring Looks like what, maybe 70s, 80s. Um, it's just Mark 925. Look how pretty the under gallery is. So 925. Actually, I don't see any other. It's very beautifully made. It really is. Uh, and I hope I'm showing it to you good, but I think that's a great price for it. 
40 star. See those little diamonds sparkling there. It's not a tiny ring. The little diamonds are, but the ring itself's not. You could shine it, but it is evenly patinaed. You want it? Yay! Thank you. Thank you so much, Connie. It's gorgeous. That's a wonderful ring. You'll you'll love this. Thank you, darling. I'll get that for you at I think a great price, forty. And two that it was larger, right? Larger ring. Got you, Connie. Thank you. I hope you and your family are doing good. Your children. Um. Okay. Let's see here. Okay, this one is really beautiful. Uh, looks like a Herkimer diamond, but I don't know if it is. Let me see what it tests. Or is this one... Okay, we're just going to call this one glass. Or, or it's quartz. And I wouldn't be surprised if it's not quartz. Um, just because of the clarity of it. And, and the setting of it is really beautiful. This one is older and it is marked sterling something. Let me tell you a size, size eight. I think you will like this one, you guys. Look at that, how pretty. And the cut of it, I don't know what kind of cut this is, but the setting of it, isn't that great? Calling it glass or quartz. I'll do a 28 start on it. It is very simple and beautiful. There's the underneath. So, yeah, I'm not sure if it's quartz or glass, but... It's very pretty. Can y'all say it good? Very nice. Nice setting. Indeed. Okay, we have that one. Oh, love it, love it, breakfast table every day of the week. Love it, love it, it's made a happy woman out of me. Oh, love is alive. Gold tone, these look um, enameled, got the little flower. These look like little Avon earrings to me. Six dollars if you like them. Dainty and elegant. Six dollars, they're perfect condition. Let me just put one in and show you. Uh, of course, I'll give them a little wipe, but this is where they come to. I don't really wear earrings that fall right there because my face is long and I feel like I need them to come down to here. But I do look like Avon, but very nice. Can y'all see? And the little, um, that's black behind the flower. And that's what they look like. Post. Well, dang, thank you. One has a back, one doesn't, but I can put a new one on it. So, pretty little price. I thought I might show a couple pair of earrings because I love the, I love, I, that's one thing, you know, like I don't, earrings, like earrings, I can wear anything, but there are certain earrings that are my go-tos that I have to have. Okay, this is a real pretty pendant, y'all. Excellent. I suppose this is glass with, okay. You got it, Connie. Thank you, darling. The little, let me show it to you. Make sure that's what you want. This one, it's not garnet. 
it it looks garnet, but I think it's glass. This one, pretty sure. Let me know you still want it. Um, I'm calling it the red glass, but it's garnet colored with the marcasites. It's not coming across on camera as pretty as it is really, but okay. So yeah, I'm calling it glass, but there it is. And let me think, what was this one? 20? You got it. Thank you. Congrats. That one is so pretty, Connie. Yay. <laughs> okay. That's fine. We'll get it figured out. Okay. I wanted to show y'all this really pretty pendant. Show you about how it's going to look on. Like if you wear it. Look at this. How pretty. And I'll tell you. I guess this is a piece of glass in here. It really catches the light. And it totally looks like the color of Chalcedony. If you know what color that is. It looks like stainless on the back. There's a little weight to it. Um, really nice, nice pendant. Um, this looks like octopus tentacles, y'all. Look, I'm going to do $8 start on this real pretty um, pendant. See, it's got a Cal Sydney color. Don't those look like octopus? Octopus. Octopus tentacles. And up there, it has a little, let me get it up here, stone there. But really pretty. I know I'm not doing a good job showing it, but really pretty. If you like it. Right there's what it's kind of going to look like. Right there. Only eight bucks. Talk. Oh, oh, cool. Yeah, I think it is octopus. Um, my pal, I swear I do. These are um, old screwbacks, and they're a natural stone. I don't know what kind of natural stone this is, but it all looks in perfect condition. I'll do $6. They're really pretty little screwbacks, gold tone. Do y'all know what kind of natural stone that is? I'm not sure. Oh, I'm showing you the back. Here it is. Right there. Polished. Very pretty. Gold tone. Perfect condition, really. So, if any interest in these, I like the little articulation of that stone. But they are screwbacks. They're older earrings. Tiny dainty. And let's see what we have here. This is an older bracelet. Let me see if we're missing any stones out of it. Don't think so. It's gold tone. And, oh, wow, wait. Glass. Gold tone and glass. No, I saw an issue. Forget that. I'm just going through whatever I lay my hands on today. Just whatever. If y'all want to see more rings, do let me know. I do have more rings. Here's a pretty pair of gold tone hoops. If anybody likes. Um, very nice. Look at these. Now they have some weight to them. They have a little weight. But not a lot. These are going to be kind of like ear huggers. Nice and thick. Gold tone hoops. Seven on these because I think they're worth it. Look like chains put together. And I'm going to say they're, you know, ear huggers. Really pretty. Um, no, it was a pendant. Yeah, it does shape to have an S. On, this is the back of it. It does look like an S, right? But here's the front of it, in which I, I said it looked Cal Sydney of color. And this whole thing looks like an um, octopus to me. 
But yeah, if I look at it straight on, it's not an S, it's backwards. So. Yeah, it was really pretty. See what I mean about it looks like an octopus tentacle. I don't know what you call those, but with all the little suckers on it, it's thicker with weight too. Okay. I'm going to show this one more time because it's a good sizable piece of silver. Um, and let's see, I think I did... 24 on this, 24 start. It's Mexico. It's signed nine and something nine two five. It was a brooch slash pendant with a huge bell that will go on a torque. Let me show you what it looked like on a torque. Uh, but the the pin for the brooch parts broke off. That could be repaired, but it's still heck of a cross. Sterling silver, Mexico. See what I mean about I want um gosh, you could put this on a really thick tort if you like it. Oh, that's super cool. $24 start on this, y'all. This old Mexico sterling silver piece. See how big it is. That's pretty on a tort. Look, and it moves. I really like that myself. Oh my god. So I like it as the pendant. It was a brooch. The pin has gone off the brooch. But you got the little kind of flower there in the middle. Thank you. Oh, Connie likes it. Good. See, the, the pins broke off, Connie. It's not there. Look what a huge bell. I just, it's fantabulous on a torque. That's the first time I've tried that. I don't like that. And I would have probably kept it had you not gotten it. But I'm so glad you did. Because I don't get paid to get jewelry. I don't get paid to keep jewelry. And, um, yeah, that's more important right now than collecting. So, 24 sold to Connie. Thank you, Connie. Honey, you're making my day. Thank you um, so much. And these are some great items. You'll be pleased with them. So, you will love it. It's great. It's it's going to be better than even what you can see right here because it's, oh, it's got so much character. So much character. And a great price for it, too. I mean, that makes it even that much more appealing to me. All right, let's see what else we have. Um, just a real pretty little gold tone chain. It's got a nice weight to it. It looks like maybe 16 inches. Um, let's just do $7 if you like this. $7. A nice gold tone necklace. 16 inches. This is a good one, y'all. You could put a pendant on this. Um, just a nice gold tone thicker chain. It is, um, doesn't look cheap. Color's great on it. Put you a nice pendant on there. It'd be good to wear with a couple of more other ones. 16 inches only, whatever price I said. And it does have weight. It doesn't feel like a little cheapy. The color's excellent on it. If you could use a use one, like choker kind of style with a pendant, would be super pretty if you like at that price. Um, let's see what else here. Oh my gosh. I don't know if y'all are gonna like this. These are I I got two or three of these. The Made in Korea Vintage Zipper Necklace Costume. Do y'all even remember what I'm talking about? Hold on. You'll probably remember. Seems like I had a couple, but anyway, right now I've got this one. I don't know why I love it, but I'm going to do um, $8 start on that. Gold Tone Zipper Necklace, Jane. $8 start. It's like, it's kind of like Lariat style. And it has the zipper. Does it move up and down? Oh, my God. That's so awesome. I should start at 10. It moves up and down. Do y'all remember these? See the zipper? It's like Lariat. You can move it up and down the necklace. It's brand new. I love it. Guaranteed you'll get a comment on this, uh, a compliment on this, because it's just so different. I, I swear I seem like I remember this from, like, maybe the 80s. But let me see if I can't 
put it over my head and show you. But yeah, if you'd like to have this eight dollars vintage, do y'all remember these? Okay, so you can it's the zipper, y'all. And this one's in beautiful, perfect condition if you like it. Only eight bucks. It's like it's never been worn new. Miss Suzanne wants it. Excellent. And I could have swore I had another, but I don't see it right here laying in front of me. Yeah, and it's just, it's so smooth up and down. It's a fun one. You'll like it. Thank you, dear. I'll get it for you, Miss Susanna. Eight dollars. Adorable. Different. Vintage. Fun. Right? I got you, darling. Thank you very much. Let's see what else we got here, y'all. Um, this is for a little girl. It is a little cupcake ring that opens up with a magnetic closure. It's an adjustable $5 if you like that. Uh, some little girl, I think, would love it. Um, adjustable cupcake. Got a hinge. Opens up. Magnetic. It could use a little wipe there inside. But other than that, super cute. Don't you think a little girl would love that little cupcake? Five bucks. And it's an adjustable. The color looks great on it. So, cupcake ring, isn't it? Cute. I guess you could put something in there, y'all. It's magnetic. You can put something in there. So, if anybody likes that. Um, this is so pretty. Oh, wait. Is this an earring? I don't know what this is. Uh, hold on now. Oh, I've got two of them. I think somebody's going to like this. Happy days. You've got the cupcake ring, darling. Congrats to you. Thank you so much. Gotcha. Fun, huh? Um, these are some really super cool earrings. I hope they're very comfy, wearable, and all that. Yeah, they are. So they hook like this. Um, that's right. You see how they just push right in there, okay? So these are, sorry, glass. And they are a pretty Cal Sydney color. I don't know what it is with that color today. But these are really different and cool earrings. And I'll do $6 on them. They're brand new. Light can go through, which is great. Six bucks if you like them. And there is the kind of how they're going to look. They're different. They're different. Just, yeah, glass. So if anybody likes these at $6, gold tone, brand new, super cool. Um, next up, vintage, yeah, I don't know if anybody wants that vintage pearl strand. It's not double knotted or anything like that. So, what do we have here? Also, y'all, I do have some jewelry bundles. The uh, $35 jewelry bundles, there's 25 pieces in them. I sold two or three or four last week. If anybody would like one, they do make good Christmas gifts. Um, any woman, I would think, would love it. I know um, I made up one for my daughter's boyfriend's uh, grandmother that's in the nursing home, and she had a fit for it. I made her a big one, though. But this is like, uh, 25 pieces wearable good jewelry. It's $35 by now if you would like. So I do have those. Um, 
yeah, I wanted to mention that. And um, let's see, where else were we at? Oh, this. Let's see if we like this. I don't even know what this is. So, don't think it's silver or anything. Mm, this is not that um, crazy great. Okay, I have this little pair of... No, we're going to skip over that one. Oh, let me show y'all this one. $6. You want those the Cal Sydney looking pretty earrings? Is that what it was? You got them. Thank you, Miss Suzanne. I hope everything's going smooth today with, you know, what's going on. Thank you. I got them for you. Okay, this ring. I think it's Citrine. Let me test it. Sterling Silver. I'm going to do a 25 star on it. It is Citrine. Um, real pretty. If you like yellow, I think it's Citrine. Somebody had said something about a yellow amethyst. I don't know. It's a six and a half. Let me see where this test at again. I can't remember. Seems like Melly. It does test. Actually, it doesn't test at Citrine. It tests at Amethyst. So, I'm letting y'all know where it tests. It is not glass. It's some type of semi-precious. Um, it does not reach Citrine, but it's smack dab in the middle Amethyst. So, I've never had a yellow, yellow Amethyst. I don't know. But I'm only doing a $25 start. I told you the size. This is so pretty. It's not a tiny ring, neither. Look at that. So, I'm just telling you, I'm not unsure. It is, does have open work. Let me show the underneath. And what is it marked? It's got a couple initials, I think. And it's a 925. So... There's the underneath. Y'all heard the size. If you might like that one at 25. Oh, uh, I don't know if I have some bigger sizes. Maybe. There it is. Very pretty. $25. You cannot beat it. Okay. Um, I'm going to show these if I have both of them right here. I haven't shown them in a while. Actually, somebody ordered them and then didn't go through with us. Let me see if I have the other one. These are some pricey earrings. I'll give a good price on them, but... Actually, I don't see the other one, so we might skip them. We'll skip them. All right, let me show y'all these. Couple of brooches. Actually, let's do, do, do choice. Hi, kitty. Let's do choice. So this one looks like, what do you call it when they up... When they, when they put this together. I can't remember what you call that. When you put it together, you upgrade it, you add to it, you do something. It's upcycle on clothes, but um, jewelry, I can't remember what they... Punk? What is this called? Anyway, um, let's do $6 start for either this one, which is really cool. It's Noah's Art, got a lightning bolt, umbrella, animals. Very nice. Or an LC, Old Liz Claiborne. This is a heavy one. gold tone stem, silver tone apple. Perfect condition. And then I have a BSK, which isn't too shabby. gold tone. Nice, large, kind of domed. Etching on it. BSK. If it's yellow citrine, it's a uh, rare. Yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to show you how big that one is. So for choice, six bucks. Or I'll do 16 for all three. 16 for all three. BSK, LC, 
this one is like, I don't know. But if any interest, they're nice larger brooches. They're in good condition. This is an old, I'm going to assume this is black onyx. It's a little, I don't want to say warped, wonky. It could be shaped out on a metal mandrel. Um, sterling silver, I'm going to say most, most likely black onyx. Look how pretty that is. It's an older one. Let's do 25 if you like it. It's a smaller size. Um, about a size of six. And can you see where it's misshaped just a little bit? Whoops. See where it's misshaped a little there? Um, it doesn't affect the wearability of it, if that's the right word. But nice surface area here of, I suppose, a black onyx inlay is my guess. $25 sterling silver. There is um, what the band looks like. I love this one. I wish it were big enough for me. I think it's so pretty. If anybody likes that. Wow, we're at 10 people, y'all. I had never in my life. What have I done? Have I run away all my customers and viewers somehow? If I've been doing that bad, y'all. I'm telling you, this past year or so, whew, it's been a rough one. I've been trying. Now down to nine. I'm thinking I should go ahead and close out. Um, anyway, that ring. Jane, thank you so much for helping me, honey. Uh, let me just try to show maybe five more items. Yeah, there is always the replay. Let's go with about five more items. And I don't know if Connie's still here, but I'm going to show this one more time. I bet I've shown it three times. I can't believe nobody's not ordered it. Um, it's a wrap bracelet, glass, lots of natural stone. I'll do 20 on it if any interest. There's faceted glass, like AB. You got halite. Um, this is all some natural stone. It feels like done in leather. But um, I don't know. I just thought this kind of reminded me of you. But please feel no obligation. I've shown it like three times. I'm surprised somebody will want it. But anyway, 20 bucks. It's really nice. You can wrap it ever how. Hooks with this little, like this. Uh, very nice. Not a cheap little thing. Isn't that so cool? Now, this isn't turquoise. It's just turquoise color, and it's got that gold dip around it, but it's so pretty. So, if any interest on that one. I can't get it to show up in the camera as pretty as it is, but it's a nice... Then you got a couple of different options there. See where the knots are to hook it. So 20 on that if anybody likes. Let's do about five more pieces. Um, I have uh, this. This is different. I've shown it before. Um, I'll do 26 on this one. I think it's a great price. And this has... What stone do we have in this? I think it's more than glass. No, I'm going to call it glass. It's um, this little princess ring, a little crown ring, full of marcasites. 26, I think I said start. Let me go ahead and get the size. It's different. Look, the way it's made, it's really different. I haven't seen one like this. Um, size 7. Size 7. Glass, which is kind of like garnet color. Marcasites. And look, see right there how it's open like that? It's very unusually made and everything. There's the back. Um, different. Let me put on my pinky and show you. Can y'all see this? See how it sets up off the hand? Nice ring for that price. Very pretty. Different. Those are garnet colored, I'd say. 
glass. That's what I'm calling. Okay. So four more items to show. Oh, four more items to show. Um, four more, four more. Uh, I have shown this before. This is a really pretty bracelet of crosses. If you like it, look at that. Looks like kind of maybe a native piece. I'm not for sure, but see how that is there it's like cut out it's like cookie cutter almost is what it's like sterling silver um let's do 25 on it if you like it and let me get you a link probably seven inches um actually seven and a half inches seven and a half inches this is so pretty we'll do it up close So pretty. Going to make a great layer. I love the way it lays because it kind of stands up a little bit because it's like these little cookie cutter or something. That's what it looks like. Dainty, but no. Like, I don't know. Hi, 710. Welcome. Thanks for coming. So, we had that one. Hope you're doing well. And let's do about three more. Um, 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 I haven't shown this one. This is old. This needs a clean. This is a very old. This is probably rubies. Let me see. Let me see what this is. Um, might be a gold over silver or something. So this says 925 Italy something it's a gold over silver it needs a clean but if you're not careful you could take the gold off if you use a very strong cloth or whatever um but it does need a clean you know it's gold tone but it needs a clean vintage i bet everybody had one of these and let me see if these fluoresce because they could be little rubies oh yes they are they're little rubies so it's a really great chain, sterling silver. You can see the rubies glow. It's a heart and it says love. Now there are some clear stones. I don't know what kind they are. They could be diamonds, y'all. I can't, they're too little for me to test. The length on the chain, 18 inches and about maybe an inch pinned up. Let me show you up close. It's a really great chain. It's soft, soft and buttery right there. So gold over silver. Uh, little rubies and some other clear stone. Vintage. There it's marked on the bell too. Let me show this. So, like I said, I feel like it needs a clean because it looks a little dirty on the chain. Okay? But if you're not careful, you might take the gold off. I don't know. Um, very pretty necklace. I'll do a $32 start on this. $32 start with the little rubies. And it says love. I feel like I'm not showing it very well, but I'm trying. Hold on. That's nice. With all the little rubies and don't know what the clear stones are. So it's an excellent chain too. Okay. Any interest in that? Let's do a couple more items. So, I have this ster uh, great sterling silver chain right here, y'all. <clears throat> great. Thank you, honey. A great sterling silver chain. And this is the prettiest little apple. Sterling silver apple. And the little green apple, y'all, it tests up at amethyst emerald. Okay. Um, so it's something nice. Your chain length. 
I'm gonna do a 35 start on this one. Oh, we've got just a little tangle at the top, but 18 inch chain. Look what the pretty little, not really braided, but kind of twisted chain. Here's your little apple. It's really pretty, this necklace. Let's see. I don't know if y'all can see that good. Just the back. Here's your chain. Isn't that so pretty? It does have a little tangle in it. Barely right up around the clasp. Let's just do 32 after Jane just put it in there. 32 if anybody would like to take this one. It's a nice chain. Um, it's a good size bell on this. You could put it on a different chain. And that is uh, testing up there at Emerald. Right around that. Just know it's not glass. It's a little piece of something. Something special. It's so pretty. I don't feel like I'm doing a good job showing it. But it's very pretty. Alright, let's show a final um, item here. Sterling silver. Great layer necklace. Um, this is one that has the little balls on it like this. Oh, I love it. Looks like a 16 inch. Love this, y'all. Let's do 28 on this one. It's great. 28 on this one. Um, this is just spectacular. Older. It's actually an 18 inch. Like this. Look. Look at that. I bet my daughter would like that. 18 inch and I've got the little balls on it. Love it. Let me zoom in a little. Jane, thank you for helping, darling. So, box chain with the little balls fixed onto the chain. Um, 18 inches. Italy, which is great. If anybody likes that one. Thank you, Daddy. I'm going to finish up. I got to start working on shipping from last week. And um, I've got to send the invoices for this. And I'll be back Wednesday. Hopefully with new clothing, y'all. And there's the little necklace. I'm going to turn this off. Thank y'all so much for coming. I love y'all, darlings. It was very quiet. But I'm so glad at least all of y'all came. Two, if you watch the replay, please take advantage of these great clearance prices where I'm phasing out of the majority of my jewelry going into clothing. And I will be back Wednesday with clothing. Also, uh, uh, Wednesday with clothing is either going to be one or two o'clock, that time frame, because Morgan's first game is Wednesday, y'all. Morgan's first game's at Wednesday, and it's about 30 minutes away. And uh, then she has the home game on Friday, so basketball season's starting. So it'll be probably between 1 and 2 o'clock on Wednesday with clothing. As far as I know, I'll be here Thursday at the same time, Friday, and um, Saturday. This scarf behind me, this one, this pretty one. Um, I'll do 12 on it. It is by, it's St. John's Bay. So it's probably like an older St. John's Bay. But I love the colors in it. It's so super soft. But we can do 12 if you like that. So very soft and comfy. We love our scarves, don't we? Yeah, this one's fun, isn't it? Anybody like that? So very soft. Pettable. Pettable for sure. All right, darlings. I'm going to work on these invoices and start shipping. I will see y'all Wednesday. Good Lord willing in the creek don't rise. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. Uh, and that is uh, um, St. John's Bay. Okay. Please give me the thumbs up.
Okay, Jane. No worries if not. No worries at all. I hope y'all have a good rest of your day. Thanks for coming. Thumbs up. Shopping with me. Share me with somebody. That's your friend. Share me. Thank you for being so positive and encouraging to me. Happy days, Jane and everybody. I love y'all darlings. Okay? Bye, everybody. See you Wednesday.